As we move around to the left side of the machine, I want to show just how easy it is to access this, which is one of the things that HydroMaster prides itself is, is trying to make it as easy as possible, not only to get to these components, but also from the maintenance standpoint. Um, we also want to go through on a daily basis, uh, which with these panels being magnetized helps a lot, where we can check nuts and bolts, loose fittings, anything that we may see. Um, but identifying what we have here, this is a Kubota. Uh, it's a three-cylinder, 32 and a half horsepower, water-cooled engine. Um, just looking at here, uh, accessibility to the oil. And we have our oil filter here. We want to make sure that uh, when we change the oil on this engine that we also change the filter each time. We'll get into the segments of how and when, how often to change the oil as we move along through the maintenance program here. Um, the next item, obviously we've got mufflers, we've got things going on, but our next large component is going to be the blower here on the left hand side. The blower not to be confused with a vacuum because indeed that is truly what it does. That is our vacuum source. Um, it's a big blower. It can handle two wands, two um, hoses at the same time. Um, this particular outlet right here is what's going to go. The tube goes up into our waste tank and that's what draws it through. Um, just to take a brief look at what we've got here. These hoses here are our drain hoses. We'll get into that on the maintenance side. Um, we have an 8 gallon water box here, very critical also. Um, when it's in the pump mode, it's critical that, that be the water be supplied. Sometimes uh, we'll get calls and uh, somebody's accidentally turned off the water pump and this is empty and therefore the machine isn't going to run. So let's move around. We'll move around to the left hand, the right hand side of the machine in a second. As we move around to the right side of the machine here, I'll just identify some of the major components here that, uh, uh, that will become um, part of your daily maintenance and or weekly, monthly, depending on what we have. Up here we have a water-to-water -water heat exchanger. <clears throat> the 575 has the capability of up to 265 degrees, which is a very good um, high temp operating range for, for carpet cleaning. And, one of the ways we do that is to capture the heat from the engine coolant and this is the first stage where that takes place. Um, another, uh, to identify another major component, our carburetor is sitting right here. Here's our overflow box. It's good to watch that, especially um, in the high temperature ranges of uh, the country. This particular box uh, holds the electronics, the fuses and so on are going to be in this box here. And down below is the second stage of our heat exchanger for this machine. This, this is the, uh, the box heat exchanger down here at the bottom uh, is where the exhaust from the engine and the exhaust from the blower are captured and run through this box and the transfer of heat from the air to the liquid that we have running through these tubes here, these copper tubes, is where we get the bulk of our heat. Uh, this machine has the ability to uh, bypass when you're not looking for the heat and it also has a, a feature on it which is very nice where it doesn't. Um, when the water is at a temperature you're not using the wand, it doesn't push water into your waste tank. It, uh, the machine is capable of shutting the heat off to this when you're moving furniture in the house, not pulling the trigger and as soon as you go to pull the trigger you're back to the heat mode again. Um, the next item we have, our silencer sits right back here and on top of the silencer is a very important part of our process here and that is the high pressure pump. It's a general pump and uh, it is a four gallon per minute general pump capable of 1200 psi in the heated mode and um, it's easy to get to, easy to access. We have our pump clutch over here. Again, if you're using the pump clutch off situation and you're doing an extraction, the pump clutch is going to shut off. The pump's not going to be operating. It saves wear and tear on the pump. It's a great option. Oil fill cap right here. Very easy to get to again. The oil sight glass on the back of the machine or on the side of the machine here is very easy to see. Um, again, it's, uh, it makes it easy when you're doing your oil changes. We have an oil um, change 
hose here for allowing you to drain your oil away from the machine so it doesn't get all messed up. The last item on this side is our last step chemical injection pump. It is a slave pump to the high pressure pump as the piston moves in and out on the high pressure pump it also moves the diaphragm inside our last step chemical injection. No chemicals that you're using are injected into the inside of this system at all. This is the only place that sees the chemical. It's injected with the hot water and then it goes right out to your uh, wand. So that's a general overview of what we've got here. Uh, the next items that we want to do or look at or want to say is about the maintenance side of it. Let's look at oil changes, spark plugs, and so on.